if you're not capitalizing in this given moment of time with what has been given to you, what are you doing? All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new, my name is Bobby. Guys, let's talk Bitcoin. It has been a while since I recorded a video. So today we're going to talk about cryptocurrencies, about Bitcoins and about Bobby selling out yet again. This is the theme of this channel. When I quit veganism and I started eating meat again, Bobby sold out. When I realized that Macedonians, quote unquote, are Bulgarians and I start identifying as a Bulgarian, Bobby sold out. When I found out about cryptocurrency, Bobby sold out yet again. The theme of this channel, no matter how you do it, you do it wrong. Guys, let's talk about cryptocurrency today coming from an orthodox Christian. What are my thoughts on cryptocurrency? Should I be able to buy cryptocurrency, to invest into cryptocurrency as an orthodox Christian, or is it forbidden? We all know money is the root of all evil, right? Wrong. Money is not the root of all evil. The love of money is the root of all evil. This is at least what the Bible states. We all have to make a living, especially as men, we should be able to provide for our families. So now, if we look into Bitcoin, into cryptocurrency, what is it? A mysterious figure named Satoshi Nakamoto, some sort of pseudonym, some sort of nickname. We do not know if it is one person, if it is many people, if it is an AI algorithm, what is Satoshi? We do not know. However, if you look into the idea of Bitcoin, it seems a very altruistic, right? It seems like an absolutely phenomenal idea to cut out the middle man, aka the banks. Because if you believe you are not supporting the Antichrist system, you're not supporting the beast system, if you still own euros and dollars, well, then think again. Guys, People that are scared of investing into digital currency, aka cryptocurrency, already invest in digital currency. How? Because not every dollar and every euro is printed. Actually, most of it is not. Most of it is digital. Check it out yourself. Most of the dollar and euro is digital. It hasn't been printed. If everybody would try to get their money out today, all the banks would collapse. There is not so much paper money to go around. And even further than that, that paper money has only value because we people give it value. Paper money has no intrinsic value. You can use it to wipe your butt with it. It has no value. Back in the day, it was attached to gold. It had the gold standard. Nowadays, that is not the case any longer. If you are so red-pilled, if you are so woke, you already know what the Federal Reserve is doing. You know that they're printing money out of thin air. No gold standard. So why would you be scared of yet again another digital currency? But let's get back to Bitcoin. Bitcoin on its own, as I said, sounds very altruistic. It's a phenomenal idea. It is made by the people, for the people, etc., etc., etc. But guys, if you truly believe that I'm a Bitcoin fanboy now and I'm praising Bitcoin, Bitcoin is the future, yes, yes, Bitcoin will revolutionize everything. Then you must truly believe that I am naive. Bitcoin, like any other currency, long term will be used by the elites and will be used by smarter, richer people that want to exploit the rest of us. Yes, and this is the gist of it. This is the truth. If you look around, you will realize that most people are broke. Do you know why those people are broke? No, it's not because of systematic racism. No, it's not because those people are suppressed. No, it is because those people are dumb. Yes, it's true. Most of us are dumb. Most of us are dumbed down. Sure, we can blame the media. We can blame the fluoride in the water. We can blame all kinds of things external to us, but the only way to change something is actually to stop, reflect, think and realize that we are all dummies. This is why we are not rich. 
You can claim that you're not rich because you love nature. You can claim that you're not rich because you like a simple life. You can claim that you're not rich because being rich is anti-Christian, etc., etc., etc. You can find all kinds of excuses why you, especially as a man, cannot provide for your family. The answer is that you have no financial intelligence. That's it. The only reason why we don't have financial abundance is because we don't have financial intelligence. That's all there is to it. Now, mark my words. Bitcoin will explode. It already did, but Bitcoin will truly explode and take over the mainstream. Most people haven't invested into Bitcoin yet. And if people ask me, is it too late now? No, it's not too late because Bitcoin is still not mainstream. Now Elon Musk invested. Now Apple will invest. Now Microsoft invest, etc., 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 etc. Many, many people will invest. And the next step is that governments will start to invest in Bitcoin as well. They will have assets the same way that they do with gold. And then Bitcoin will truly explode. It will get pushed by Oprah Winfrey. It will get pushed by all the major talk shows, news outlets, etc., etc., etc. And that's when the dummies will start buying. And this is when Bitcoin will crash, right? Those billionaires don't have your best interest at heart. They will crash the Bitcoin for sure. And this is why we need to be smart about this. Guys, you can say that you don't want to finance the crypto system because it is the beast. It is the Antichrist. You are already financing the Antichrist system. Don't you realize this? When I went to Athos, to Mount Athos in Greece, those monks in Espigmeno, they didn't own anything that was packaged. Nothing that had a barcode they owned. Why? Because it comes all from the Antichrist system. If you are watching this video on your phone, if you are listening to this on your laptop, if you bought your laptop with paper money or with digital money, with any money that is printed by your governments or even worse, by private companies, then you are already in the Antichrist system. You're already supporting the Antichrist system. And now you're trying to make means to an end. Somehow you try to trick this system, but how will you do it? How can you generate wealth? How can you? If you truly want to break out of the system, what are your steps? Have you ever thought about it? Right? Do you want to live in the city and complain? Is that what you are? This is what I see with so many people. They tell me how I sold out, but they never offer a solution. They're talking about gold, about silver, about eating vegan, about Macedonia, etc., etc., etc. But none of those people has a solution. They're all broke. They're all out of shape. Nobody offers a solution. They're all desperate and they're waiting for something to happen. Right? Oh, those are all worldly accomplishments. I don't need something like that. How are you taking care of your family? Yet again, let's get back to Bitcoin. We have to be smart about this. Bitcoin slash crypto is single-handedly the most amazing opportunity of this generation. You don't have to own it forever. But how do you want to buy land? How do you want to buy a house? How do you want to buy gold? I'm not talking to people that already did that, that already have that. I'm talking about people that are maybe students or they have a nine to five job. They're sitting in front of their laptops all day trying to figure out how to pay the bills. How will you make it out of the system? How will you make it out of the Antichrist beast system? By working, by paying taxes, by not buying land. How will you make this? Don't you see that Bitcoin is a fantastic opportunity to generate wealth? It is what it is. We are all navigating through this system. We're all born in this system, aka the matrix, if you will. And now we have to make the best out of it. The slaves that have been born in the Roman Empire, all the Balkan people that were born under the Ottoman rule, etc., etc. All of those people have been born in very, very tough times and they had to deal with what was given to them. Bitcoin is a way out of it. And again, no, I'm not saying that Bitcoin is the future. And if we keep on pushing it, then we all will live in this lovey-dovey great technocracy. I personally do not believe in that. I don't. Bitcoin itself has an amazing potential, but I know that people are evil and they're not going to use it 
for good. But that says nothing about yourself, for what you gonna use it. I invested in Bitcoin 2020. Very late, you would think. But still, I was able to quadruple my money since then. Then I was able to invest into certain altcoins and make a 100% increase, 200% increase, etc., etc., etc. Right? It is all doable. Now, what will I do with this money? We as people, we are born consumers. There's nothing you can change about that. You already have your ID, you have your passport, you're registered in this system. You are part of it. You cannot escape it. So now what will you do with it, right? Where do you put your money into? Do you put your money into plant-based burgers or do you support your local farmers? We already use money. That's the whole point of this video. The reality is simple. You can complain about cryptocurrency as much as you want to, as long as you take money from the governments, from the companies, from the institutions. You are still a slave. You're changing nothing. I'm not telling you what to do. You can do what you want. This is not financial advice. I don't care, honestly. This is called Bobby's perspective because I always shared what I was doing. I always shared what I was doing in that particular moment in time. Maybe I was eating just bananas. Maybe I was eating a whole food plant-based diet. Maybe I was eating just meat. Maybe I was eating just raw meat. Maybe I reflected on what was going on in this world, traveled to Mount Athos, traveled to Thailand, traveled to South America, drank ayahuasca with the shamans. In the end, I do me, you do you. I'm just sharing my perspective. And my perspective at the moment is, if you're not capitalizing in this given moment of time with what has been given to you, what are you doing? All right, guys, but this is it for today's video. I hope you liked it. If so, leave it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed already, guys, please do so. Let me know in the comment section what you think about cryptocurrency. Have you invested? Will you invest? Let me know in the comment section so we can have a discussion. If you want to support this channel, guys, all the links are in the description box below. Thank you very much from the bottom of my heart for your ongoing support. And as always, may God bless you all. Much love and peace.